This is really awesome. It's got this great kind of clicky feeling to it. That's really, 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 I mean, that's really impressive. <laughs> There's actually so much that I, that I still have to leave some in my pitcher. This is all nothing but frothed milk, just foam. Bottom line, for the price and for what this milk frother offers, I don't think you can really do wrong at all. Hey guys, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. In today's video, I have an overview of the Breville Milk Cafe Milk Frother, really cool milk frother. I'm gonna dive in and show you guys all the features on it. So without further ado, let's just dive right in and talk about this awesome milk frother from Breville. Let's talk about what's in the box with the Milk Cafe. It's pretty straightforward. I got the box right here. You're going to get the Milk Cafe base, uh, which looks great. It's got this awesome kind of brushed chrome look to it. You're going to get the actual milk frothing pitcher. And on the bottom of this, you're going to find one of your milk frothing whisks. This one being for just making uh, regular hot milk, not so much foam. On the back, you're going to find another whisk. And this whisk is going to be used for making actual foam, more foam like what you would find in a cappuccino and so on and so forth. You're also going to find instructions and an operator, operating manual, of course, and you're going to have the lid for the uh, pitcher, which is really easy to place on it to make sure it's locked down and ready for frothing milk. So let's dive in and start talking about how we can froth some milk using the Milk Cafe. So the Milk Cafe's pitcher can hold up to 16 ounces of milk, which is pretty impressive. This is about the biggest milk frother I've ever seen. And so you're going to find a number of fill lines inside of the pitcher. And those fill lines are what are going to tell you uh, the maximum amount of milk that you should put in, depending on what it is that you want cappuccino latte. There's also uh, a marking for a hot chocolate as well. So that's pretty cool. It really makes it real straightforward to uh, add in the amount of milk that you would like to make use of. So let's, uh, let's start off uh, just making some regular hot milk. And this is real easy to do. All we need to do is take our milk and we're just going to add it to our milk frothing pitcher. You can use as much as you want, but you need to just make sure that you match up with one of those minimum lines. You don't want to go below that because that can really start to make a mess of things. Place it onto the frothing base, and now you're going to want to place your lid. I've found that it's good to put this little handle right here matched up with the actual handle on the pitcher because it makes it easier to take off later. Pop that guy down. If while you're frothing you want to add chocolate or cinnamon or anything like that, you can just take out this small... Uh, uh, door right here and be able to add stuff in while you are frothing your milk But we want to just go and start frothing So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn the dial here on the face of the unit a little bit This is really awesome. It's got this great kind of clicky feeling to it And this allows you to either do a cold stir which is gonna be nothing but cold milk all the way up to warm 120 degrees Fahrenheit 140 going all the way up very high to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit We're gonna do about the optimum milk temperature as it's listed right here on the gauge to about 140 degrees, point our little indicator to there and just press the start stop button. And the frother is going to beep and now we're going to hear it start spinning and start frothing our milk. Now this process takes about two minutes and you guys really aren't going to be able to see a whole lot of it happening right now obviously because this is not a clear frothing pitcher. So we're going to let this do its thing and through the magic of television we'll come back when it's all finished. All right, we are all done frothing some milk, so let's go ahead and pour out what we've made here. Now remember, I was just using the regular whisk, so this is not going to give me as much foam. I'm still definitely gonna get a little bit. That's, uh, that's pretty great. I mean, this is exactly what I would want if I were making a latte, and that's really awesome. So what I wanna do now is I would like to uh, make some more frothed milk, and this time I'd like to make it as if I were making a cappuccino. So I'm going to pull out the uh, whisk for making regular froth milk and I'm going to add on my whisk for making uh, actual milk froth and you're going to see the difference between those. This one has these ridges and those ridges are actually going to uh, help to put the oxygen into the milk which is going to uh, give it the most froth that I want. So I'm going to again add this onto the base and now I'm going to take my milk I'm going to fill up again to about the, uh, the first minimum fill line. And I'm going to place my lid. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and again, just choose the brew temperature. I'm gonna use again about the same one. Go just a little bit above perhaps, and we're gonna start brewing. And while we are frothing our milk, let's go ahead and check the temperature of the milk that we just did. And we're hitting essentially right on 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty awesome because that's exactly what I set the milk cafe to froth my milk to, it's about 140 degrees. So it's very, very accurate, which is awesome. And this could depend obviously on you know, how many times you've been using it in a row and uh, various things like that. But I'm actually a little bit above 140 degrees right here, but that's sitting right about at what I wanted to get uh, out of my milk froth. So that's pretty awesome because that's gonna make sure that I get the best possible temperature out of my milk. And uh, again, through the magic of television, I'm gonna go ahead and let the milk frother finish its job here so I can show you guys the actual whisked and frothed milk in a few moments. All right, through the magic of television, we have finished our second batch of milk right here. And this is pretty impressive. I'm just gonna show that to you guys right there. We've already got a ton of froth going on. And remember, I did not fill this up very much. I actually went to the first minimum fill line. Let's see what this looks like. That's really, 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 I mean, that's really impressive. <laughs> There's actually so much that I, that I still have to leave some in my pitcher. This is all nothing but frothed milk, just foam. So that's really impressive. If you want to make, I mean, I could make literally probably somewhere to the tune of four different cappuccinos using this. So I, I'm really impressed with this uh, milk frother. Definitely one of the best that I think I've ever seen in all honesty. So there you go. This is the, uh, the first regular frothing whisk for just doing regular milk. And then here I've got the one for doing cappuccino style froth. You can see the comparison between those two and how quick and easy that was to make use of the milk cafe. So let's talk about what you're all wondering, the cost of the Breville Milk Cafe. It's retailing for about $129.95. That's pretty darn good, I think, for a milk frother that is as awesome as this one. Not a bad price overall, and because this is gonna allow you to do everything you wanna do with a milk frother. Cold milk, hot milk, all the different kinds of froth that you can do, various things like that. So $129, not too bad. Uh, you can shop around, of course, or visit us on aromacup.com and see if you can find a better price. But still, pretty good entry-level price for a milk frother of this caliber. And the bottom line on the Breville Milk Cafe. Uh, bottom line is that this is really, I think, the best possible milk frother that you could ever really get. I've used a ton of them, uh, whether they be manual or fully automatic and various things like that. This is easily the best fully automatic milk frother I've ever seen. It allows you to do cold milk and then allows you to adjust the temperature anywhere between 120 going up to 160 degrees. The temperature is really spot on when you come right down to it is something that I think is really important. It actually gets that milk to exact, it's exactly the temperature that you're looking for. Uh, super easy to operate and it looks great. I just really, really like the look of it. I love the clickiness on the dial right here. And it's so simple to use. Just press that start button and you're off. And then you can walk away, come back, and you've got great frothed milk. So bottom line for the price and for what this milk frother offers, I don't think you can really do wrong at all. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you have questions or comments, please leave them for us here in our video or get in touch with us at aromacup.com. Uh, I hope that you guys have found this very useful that for when you're going out to buy a milk frother for your own at-home coffee shop. I want to thank you for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop. Brought to you by aromacup.com, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.